All right, guys, so today I'm going to be painting the uh, back of the tank black. And I got it all, sorry, got it all taped off what I need taped off anyways. I got my bulkheads taped off. And I'm going to be painting the overflow box as well. So what I did is I taped off a strip so I have kind of a viewing panel from the side of the tank or a viewing angle so I can see, you know, make sure everything, the water level is good in here and all that good stuff. So got that taped off and then I'll be spray painting all this so get going alright guys got the tank pulled away from the wall today because today we're gonna be plumbing it I got oh my goodness I finally got my uh, all PVC gate valve in so I can go ahead and uh, start plumbing this tank up this is what I've been waiting on right here was this PVC ball valve or, uh, Gate valve. These are extremely, <laughs> extremely hard to find. And if you do find them, like on a uh, Marine Depot or something, they're like thirty bucks. Um, but I found a good deal online. So all PVC. Even the stem is all PVC. So we're gonna start plumbing the tank. Got a whole bunch of plumbing crap in the other room that I'm gonna go get right now. I'm gonna get going on this. All right, guys. You can see I got my full siphon line plumbed in here see through my little sight glass here so there it is this is going to be my full siphon line and on the full siphon line I have my ball, ball valve hooked up to it so now I'm going to be putting in my uh, emergency drain line in the middle bulkhead right there and then a Durso style setup on that bulkhead there alright all right, so I got all three pipes in full siphon the emergency and the Durso style and they're all plumbed down now. And what I'm going to do is drill three holes for each uh, pipe and cut in with a 45 and then plumb in from the inside of the stand. There it is. All right, so I got my holes drilled here. Just trying to keep with a clean look, so. Uh, let me show you the other side here. The pipes will be coming in. There you go. Not very straight, but whatever. So there they are. So I'm going to put about a three inch piece of pipe on each of those and then I'm going to be uh, doing flex hose for the rest of it. Alright so I'm almost ready to uh, put the tank back. Um, just got to clean up back here. Got my lines run. Gate valve. Okay. Let's go to the front. Now on the front side, it's just going to be exposed pipe right here uh, because I'm going to be doing flex tube from there. So I'm just going to hook flex tube up to that and um, what's it called? Use a hose clamp. So that's that right there. I don't know. I want to do something to like try to cover the rest of those holes. Like I don't know. It looks like it's not what I want. But anyway, so that's that right there. So the plumbing is pretty much done for the tank being pulled out. All I gotta do is get flex hose and run it down to this uh, first chamber in the sump here. All right guys, so you can see here, um, the plumbing is done. You can see how I got the uh, return lines uh, mounted. I'm using flexible PVC. And you can also see that I got this all masked off. I'm gonna be painting all this piping black just so it blends in a little bit better and we can't see all the uh, ugly PVC glue so that's what we're gonna do right now is paint it alright right here we can see that I got it all painted um, I think it looks really really good came out really well um, so yeah and here I'm just kinda showing you the tank full of water here this is kind of a fast forward here um, after um, if, I'm sure you guys saw the video when the Jabo pump was not working so I'm just using this little pump here to uh, get the tank running. I put my Dr. Tim's one and only in the tank so we're cycling it right now. <clears throat> and you'll see here the sump running. Uh, there's that little pump I'm using right now just for a return pump. And um, I'm going to show you here, oh, what am I going to show you here? <laughs> um, all the overflow box just working in an overflow box. And you can see here my return line. No you can't. Sorry guys I'm trying to do a voiceover here but Anyway, so this is how the overflow box runs. It goes through that skimmer box, through those three holes in the back of the tank, and then into this little tank here uh, that has all the drain lines at the back of the tank. Um, 
currently running at a full siphon. The middle one is the emergency line, and the other one is just to pick up the slack of the emergency, or I'm sorry, the full siphon line right there. And here I try uh, showing you some of the plumbing, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, there's the ball valve, or I'm sorry, the gate valve. Um, and that black, that black paint, um, painting all that piping really made it look a lot better. It blended in with the wall better. And down here you can see I put that flexible piping on there. I'm going to be cutting it down and running those flexible pipes into some bulkheads that will uh, go into the water there. But that's just for right now. Um, and there's that little pump again. Here you can see my return line. This will be going for the j pump when the one that actually works arrives. And this is my manifold to run um, like a recirculating skimmer um, and all my reactors and stuff. And just here, here's the other ball, ball valve for the other return line right there. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it there. It looks really good. I think everything's going to run really well. Uh, there's the other return line there. You see I had to go through the overflow box, but that worked out really well. It wasn't too bad. Um, a little hard to get the bulkhead in, but you know. Alright, so anyways guys, thank you for watching. Um, and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you have any questions and I will be doing a Q&A here coming up. Alright, thanks.